I have to burp. Burping myself like a baby. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? Mats will do it to me too now. Love. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, I am doing a favorites video, which I desperately need because I'm currently I'm going through something and yes, I am dramatic. I bought a rug, put in my living room, moved the old rug out, put the new rug in, put all the furniture on top and I hate it. And I've literally been hiding out in my bedroom all day because I can't look at it with like having extreme anxiety. I don't know why I'm like this. I'm excited to talk about things that I like. I desperately need to look on the bright side of things. You know, bum, 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 bum. Mr. That's the song, Mr. Sandman. Before I get into this video, I want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is Care Of. They have just announced that they now have a new vitamin line exclusively for Target. All of their vitamins are made with superior formulas and ingredients, and they're all backed by science. But they have streamed like this to make this so easy to know what formulas you wanna pick when you're shopping from the Target line. They have three multivitamin options and five targeted blends. Each of the blends targets a specific goal, and you can mix and match those formulas to make sure that you have the one that is exactly meeting your needs. All of the formulations are designed with the latest research, which is something that's really important to me because this is a field that is always forever changing and they are clean, GMO free, and especially necessary for me, they are also gluten free. On top of the formula blends, I also have the multivitamin for women. So this is great, especially for somebody like me who I have a really bad habit of eating like the same thing every single day for like six months and then moving on to the next thing and moving on. I have these like phases and hyperfixations when it comes to food. So having multivitamin that can fill in those gaps my diet is really important to me. My two personal favorite targeted blends are the focus and the relaxation. Two opposite ends of the spectrum of where I need to be. I need to be like more alert, energized, focusing. On the other side, I need like, okay, you're good. C calm down, go to sleep. And if you want to get 20% off Care Of's line at Target, click the link down below. Now let's get into the rest of the video. I actually have a decent amount of hair care favorites. Yes, my hair is so long, but it has gotten so dark. I appreciate everybody who's been like leaving comments saying like, love the embracing of the dark hair. I'm actually not embracing it. I just have been blind and have not been able to drive my car to go get my hair done. So now that I have glasses, that is that is up there on the list of things I need to do. First of all, I finally got the long Dyson wands. If you haven't seen my how I do my like curly wavy hair with the Dyson air wrap, I will link that video down below. In that video, I didn't have these ones yet. I had the shorter ones. And when I tell you this has made a world, a world of difference. If you have like hair my length or longer, you need one that are longer. I don't know why you can't customize it. Dyson, I feel like that's something that you should be able to do. My next favorite is this shampoo from Pros. They are a sponsor of my podcast, so they sent me this. And I have seen people talk about Pros on YouTube for, I don't I probably said the last like two years. It's really blown up. I've always been interested in trying it. My specific blend is Cleanse and Care, Clarify and Cleanse. That sounds a little redundant, but who cares? I'm obsessed with this shampoo. I mean, I'm not even gonna say like, I'll admit it, like it's something to be embarrassed about. No, I'm actually quite proud of the fact that I have really formulated and um, put the time and effort in to make my hair routine a once a week thing. I only wash my hair once a week, twice if, I don't know, like a bird poops on my head. It's important for me to have my hair get really, really, really clean. And that's something I learned when I went on my whole like wavy hair journey at the beginning of the pandemic. <laughs> When you're not washing your hair super frequently, or if I'm wearing my hair wavy, there's a lot of product in it, so you can get that buildup. This cleans my hair so well. It's like a tiny bottle, but you don't even need that much. And it really, really, really gets my hair clean, but not the overly stripped clean. Like when I get out of the shower, my hair's just tangled. And that's really important, especially if you have bleached hair, using clarifying things when you already have like pretty damaged hair can just make it like matted and tangled. This is not like that at all. I. I just love it. My next favorite is from Briogeo. This is their Don't Despair Repair Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. I love this. I used to kind of think of, oh, like leave-in masks, like leave-in conditioner and all of that stuff was what I was really exclusively using for my hair. Only when I was wearing it like natural and wavy. I didn't really think to transfer that over to when I was like blow drying my hair, but this has been fantastic because it's a spray-in. So it's not too heavy. It doesn't weigh my hair down at all. And it's not the kind of thing where like you put too much product in your hair and then you like blow it out and it suddenly looks greasy again or really heavy or the ends just kind of like are all sticking together and you're like, oh, this is not cute at all. This does not do that. It doesn't weigh your hair down at all. And I just, I love this. I love this company. They're a black owned brand. They make such great stuff. This has been like an old school favorite of mine. This is the R & Co Foil Frizz and Static Control Spray. I love like spray in oils and anything like that after I've like blow dried my hair. I have split ends. I really need to get my hair cut. And again, because it's bleached, the top part of my hair that's grown out is a lot smoother and sleeker than the color treated parts of my hair. So I 
can just spray this in the bottom. I'm almost out of it, but I literally have had the same bottle for like three years at least. My last hair favorite is actually an accessory. It's the claw clips. I love these. These are so, so, so cute. I will say they're not huge, so they can fit all of my hair in there, but like in a more like looser kind of way. They're not so massive, but they are really cute to do like half updos and all of that. And I'm all for bringing the claw clips back. I'm obsessed with these clothing favorites. I'm about to show you. First, I have these overalls. I have worn these overalls so much since I got them. I love overalls just as a whole. I love jumpsuits. They're perfect for when I'm babysitting my nephew and they're just so comfy. And it makes me feel like I need to move out of LA and live on a farm and just wear overalls all the time. Like I think that's where I belong. I am hoping they will be back in stock on H&M by the time this video is out. But if they're not, I will try and do as many like dupes as I I can and if you have any recommendations for like 100% cotton like the loose baggy overalls let me know because I desperately want more. Also from H&M are these jeans. I will say they are cropped a little bit shorter than I wanted them to be like I really wanted to get the between of like wide leg and boot cut like looser jeans that fall all the way to the ground cover your shoes. These are not that they are cropped and I'm like I'm five six if you're a casting director five eight ish maybe a little taller than that if you are a normal person. I still really like them the length looks really good they're not exactly what I was looking for specifically with that, but I still love them. 100% cotton as well. And they're just really cute, really comfy. My last fashion favorite should come as absolutely no surprise if you have seen me post about this on TikTok, Instagram. I have worn it in videos over and over and over again. It is my Taylor Swift shirt. <gasps> this is amazing and iconic and just everything. As a diehard and lifelong Swifty, I love it. I love the style of it. I also saw on TikTok that there's like a one that kind of looks like it's supposed to be like based on the end game, like the Marvel Endgame poster and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna need that one too. This is fantastic. It's giving me very much the same vibe as my Spencer Reed sweatshirt. I literally love this. Like nothing makes me happier. If you missed my last vlog, then you might have missed that I, a lifelong fake plant girl, have become a real life plant mom. Please don't zoom in and look at the quality of my plants and then tell me that they're dying. Or if you're going to do that, like tell me what I should do. Don't be like, oh, they're dying. Haha. <laughs> like give me some tips. I also just got this new planter. This is from World Market. It was only $15. Really like it. Granted, the shape of these, like these just stick out at the top. I have really been liking having plants. Like it just like makes me happy. And I think it's like becoming a new addiction. And every weekend so far we have gone to get more, but it just makes me happy. Like I really, really love them. Now I want no shaming about the quality of this plant because in the last video, everybody was like, this is not gonna survive. So not with that attitude, it won't. Tell me what I need to do. <laughs> it's my little ivy. So cute. But this this planter, this is from Anthropology. I love this. It's like so, so, so heavy and hardcore, but it's beautiful. And I like love how it looks with it cascading down the side. So tell me how to like not kill my ivy. The Leo in me wants to get like a whole like mold done of my face and have one that's like mine. <gasps> My next favorite is my laptop riser, laptop stand. This is from Amazon. I looked at so many reviews of these. What I like about this is it like, you screw it and it can go up. And then, okay, it's just not not to be done in, in midair. It can go down, it can rotate, you can like spin it all around. But it's great, it has these holes. My laptop is constantly overheating because I am asking it to do too much. I'm sure I'm the last person to like, you know, actually start having like a work from home setup, but better late than never. Even though I was someone who like already worked from home. I know, I'm insane. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, my TV show favorite. I, if you don't know, I have the television taste of like a suburban Midwestern mom. That's one of my facets. Either that or like a, like an angsty British teenager. But I have always loved the TV show Blacklist. That was a show that I watched like when it first came out and I have gotten Mott's hooked and we have just been watching it nonstop. I mean, I would say if you're a fan more of like the criminal mindsy kind of thing, you would enjoy it. I just love it. Normalize watching TV shows that moms in Ohio watch. My YouTube discovery of this month has been hitting me in all of the nostalgic feels. Holly Madison has a YouTube channel. Yes, that Holly Madison. Girls Next Door, Down the Rabbit Hole, the iconic Holly Madison. You know how like when most celebrities or famous people start YouTube channels, they're very, <sighs> to pull back the curtain a little bit, uh, there's like one specific company, but there are a couple that will partner with these celebrities to run their channels. That's why you'll see a lot of um, channels that have like very similar thumbnails or just like transitions, a lot of that stuff. She's not doing that. She literally has a YouTube channel, and I mean this in the best way possible, that you would have seen on YouTube in 2015, 2016. She is just 
just filming them herself just in her like makeup room. Like she's just talking for 20 minutes, doing her makeup, telling a story. Like it just feels like old school YouTube in like the most nostalgic and great way. And I just, I love her. That is it for my favorites video. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you Care Of for sponsoring. If you wanna let me know down below some of your favorite things that you've been really loving recently, things that are making you happy, comment them because I would love to know what those things are. Oh, and let me know any other video ideas that you have and that you'd like to see from me. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.